talking about angle pair relationships. And coming up, we have linear pair. In the meantime, do me a favor and like, share, and subscribe. Another Mav Jewel coming up shortly. What's up, everybody? My name is Dana Harris with Young Gurus Math Tutoring, and I'm back again to drop some more Math Jewels. In this video, I'm going to be talking about angle pair relationships. Specifically, we're talking about linear pair, right? So now, what do you think of when you think of the word pair? We think of two, right? So it doesn't matter what two items it is, but anytime we're talking about a pair, we're talking about two items. So a linear pair are as you can see, two angles with a sum of 180 degrees. Let's do some examples. So in this example, as you can see, we have a diagram. And in this diagram, one of the angles is labeled as 6x plus 19 degrees. And the other is just x degrees. Our goal is to find out what the value of x is in this case. Now, because these are co they're coterminal angles, actually, uh, or collinear angles, but they're specifically a linear pair. There's a lot of different terms that you can consider that, or terms that you can call this, but we're going to focus on calling it a linear pair. So that means it has a sum of 180. So we can create an equation that says 6x plus 19 plus x equals 180. Let's combine the like terms, 6x plus x. So we can do this. We can rewrite it if you want. Um, so that will give us 7x plus 19 equal 180. If we subtract 19 from both sides, then we get 7x equals 161, right? Now we want to divide by 7 on both sides. And when we divide by 7, we're going to actually get x equals 23, all right? So x equals 23. Now, what we can, we can take this a little further. That tells us that this angle is 23 degrees. And then we can also, if we wanted to, we can make this an extension. We can see, okay, well, how many degrees is this angle? Well, we could just plug in the x with 23, or because these are a linear pair, we can say 180 minus 23 equals the value of this angle. So that would be 167 degrees, all right? I'm sorry, 157 degrees for this one, all right? That's your first example. Now we're going to step it up a notch in this example. Uh, notice we have x variables and y variables, and our goal is to find the value of x and y. But notice these two expressions that represent these angles are a linear pair. The same thing, the two expressions with the variable y represent a linear pair. So remember, linear pair has a sum of 180. So I'm going to say 6x minus 32 um, plus 2x minus 20 equal 180. I'm keeping the parentheses for now just in case so we don't mess up with any signs. So now let's go 6x plus 2x gives me 8x. Those are like terms. And then negative 32 plus negative 20 gives me negative 52. Be very, very careful with those signs because one little sign mishap can mess up everything. All right, so now I want to get x by itself. So I'm going to add 52. And those cancel. 8x equals... Um, uh, 232. All right, so then we divide by 8. We divide by 8. And that's going to give us x equals 29. All right, so x equals 29. And just in case you want to double check by substituting that x here to make sure those values are going to uh, end up with the sum of 20. So I'm, I'm sorry, sum of 180. Here on the y side, we'll say y minus 12 plus 3y minus 8 equal 180. All right, combine like terms, y plus 3y gives me 4y. Let's connect those. Negative 12 minus 8 gives me negative 20. 
and that equals 180. I want to add 20 to both sides because my goal is to get y by itself. Cancel for y equals 200. Divide by 4, divide by 4. Y gives me, that's about 50. Yep. All right, and we can, we can also substitute that in. 50 minus 12 is 38. Um, 50 times 3 is 150. Minus 8 is 142. So 142 plus 38 does equal 180. I didn't check it here because those numbers are much higher, but that's another example. We have one last example, and once again, this one has the x and the y variables. Notice these two expressions use the variable x, and they form a linear pair. These two expressions um, use the variable y, and they form a linear pair. So let's go with x first. So 4x plus 10 plus 3x minus 5 equals 180. All right, combine like terms, 4x plus 3x is 7x, 10 plus negative 5 is 5, um, subtract 5 from both sides, boom, 7x equals 175, and then when we divide by 7, that's going to give us x equals 25. Yep. Let's put it right here. x equals 25. All right. Um, and if you're not at the point where you're doing the math mentally, that is totally fine. Use a calculator. Uh, use long division. However you got to do it, just get the right answer. All right. Um, remember, you don't have to do math fast to do math well. Um here we have 2y plus 28 plus 4y plus 26, and that equals 180, right? Combine my y terms, combine my constants. 2y plus 4y is 6, whoa, y not x. So we have 6y plus 28 plus 26 is 60, no, I'm sorry, 20 plus 20 is 40, 48, 54. I hope I did that right. All right, so now I subtract 54, subtract 54, boom, 6y equals um, 126, I believe. 126, and then I divide by 6 here, and then I'll get y equals 120 divided by 6 is uh, 22. No, I'm sorry, 21. 21. I miscalculated for a second. 21. So, once again, you can double check. You can uh, substitute this back in. It's probably easier to substitute this. 4 times 25 is 100, 100 plus 10 is 110, um, and then 3 times 25 is 75, 75 minus 5 is 70, so 110 plus 70 does give you 180, that's a linear pair. Once again, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, Young Guru's Math Tutoring, I got the solution to your math problems, deuces. Thank <laughs> you.